do not think it's gonna work out. You're never gonna be happy with Jack. No divorce. No way. Jason doesn't have to pretend he is brave. If he's so wonderful, go climb into his bed. Be realistic, Sky. You can't force me into staying with you. Maybe not. But I can make it damn difficult for you to leave. I already told you I will give you any settlement that you want. <gasps> what an uncanny resemblance you suddenly bear to Adam Chandler and my grandfather something's inconvenient to you, you just throw money at it and hope it goes away. Well, you know what? Not this time. No way do you get to lock me off and attach Brenda in my place and go on your merry way. Oh, no. This is gonna cost you a lot more than money. So, what makes you think that I can't be happy with Jax? I was before. As long as you're sure about that. Why can't you just wish me happiness? <laughs> I wish you all the happiness in the world. I'm just thinking that you're not gonna... You're not gonna be happy with your ass. Because there's, you know, there's always gonna be something that... You're missing. Jason wouldn't have lied. If you want to help me, you're going to be quiet, Carly. Because I touching can't. that woman's belongings. Well, then stay home. You know what? The old Jason would have been honest with me because he wouldn't have been able to help it. You know what? Hmm. You're doing this on purpose to annoy me, and it's working. You know what? The old Jason, my friend, he would have just told me how he felt. He wouldn't have kept it a secret. Why can't you just admit that, that you're liking Courtney? She just says whatever pops in her head. Yeah, I don't, I don't take Carly that seriously. Good. Why'd you, why'd you come here? I'm here to throw myself at you. Well, is that your excuse for hitting me? You're blind? How could you not have seen her? Hey, I glanced down at my cell phone, and when I look up, there's you standing in the middle of the street. Yeah, I just pushed her out of the way. Hey, I didn't see her. I'm telling you, she was here. Blonde, blue coat, scarf. Black boots. Now, you know, now that I think about it, you took quite a header. Maybe I should take you down to the hospital, huh? Oh, she couldn't have gotten far. No, 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 no. Hang on, buddy. Not so fast. There you go. There you go. You're doing great, honey. It's too soon. Well, I guess little Christina has a, a mind of her own. I should have walked at the park. It's counterproductive. Try to stay focused. And you are who again? Sorry, I'm Cameron Lewis. I found Alexis in the park about to give birth in the snow. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for getting her here. We, we appreciate that. She's covered now. Thank you. Breathe. You gotta stop this, Dr. Meadows. She's too little to, to be born now. She can't do it. Alexis, this is the bottom line. Either we bring this baby into the world tonight, or we can lose you both. Now you can...
can capture radiance in a bottle with new Aveeno Positively Radiant Facial Moisturizer with an exclusive soy complex. A moisturizer proven to soften and even tone, while natural light diffusers give your skin a healthy glow. Aveeno Positively Radiant. Kitty, kitty. Never leave them to their own devices. Can't win nuts. Next time, try a get-together game, like Taboo, where your teammates try to guess the secret word. Get-together games. Plan on having fun. <laughs> what? Triscuit crackers are tasty whole wheat, so they stay nice and crunchy when they're heated up. Triscuit crackers, you'll melt over them. It is not living that is important, but living rightly. Experience the movie acclaimed by audiences and critics across the country. What will your contribution be? The Emperor's Club is a rare and intelligent work, a wonderful film. Kevin Klein is extraordinary. And Jeffrey Lyons calls it inspiring and unforgettable. Sure to be one of the year's best. How will history remember you? The Emperor's Club. At Theaters Friday. Now you can capture radiance in a bottle with new Aveeno Positively Radiant Facial Moisturizer with an exclusive soy complex. A moisturizer proven to soften and even tone, while natural light diffusers give your skin a healthy glow. Aveeno Positively Radiant. Michael J. Bullard invites you to join him for an enlightening and refreshing guided tour of Canada's favorite winter destination, the Dominican Republic. Watch Dominican Week on Open Mic with Mike Bullard all this week for your chance to win your winter escape Dominican style. Courtesy Air Canada Vacations and the beautiful Hotel Pla Carib Club Hotel and Resort in Punta Cana. That's not the way the kids are wearing them these days. Kids are wearing their hats backwards. Now you look cool. Open Mic with Mike Bullard, weeknights at midnight on CTV. Friday on W5 Presents. I was just completely lost. I was normal. Fighting. I had tried 27 different medications. The Dragon. I spent a half an hour in the garage with a car running. Depression. Touching Canadians at alarming rates. Learn the warning signs. Witness amazing new therapies. A change in personality after one treatment. It's working. Did it save my life? Probably. Depression. Fighting the Dragon. Friday at 9, 8 central on CTV. Nice brother. I'm putting in for hazard pay. Hey, that was a measly right up in the elevator. I don't know what's going to happen to you if you ever actually do get into surgery. I've got it from here, Miguel. Thank you. You got hit by a car? Yeah, meet the driver. He came out of nowhere. Okay. They called me from ER. Are you all right? No, I'm fine. Well, I would feel a lot better if somebody examined no, you. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Hey, hey, you're going to do what the lady says, okay? Look, Mario, I got enough people in my life telling me what to do without you adding to it. Look, you ran in front of my truck and got yourself hit, huh? Got myself hit? Yeah. That screams of insurance scam to me. So you know what? I am dogging your heels until you get checked out by a certified MD. Throwing yourself in front of moving cars, huh? No self-destructive behavior there. Not you again. You better be careful. Next ride you take may be in a body bag. <laughs> Who are you to speak to my brother like that? His shrink. His shrink? He's lying. I'm Cameron Lewis, newly hired on staff here at General. I've uh, taken responsibility for Luke, which might make you think I need my head examined. You want to tell me what's going on? There was this woman. What woman? I don't know. She disappeared. Vanished into thin air, did she? Stay out of this. She was about to get hit by a truck, his truck. So I pushed her into the clear. There was no woman, okay? He's making this up as part of the insurance scam. What insurance scam? There is no insurance scam. There was a woman. She was there. You bad driver. You came out of nowhere. I realize I might be sorry I asked, but do you want to tell me what's going on? Yeah, hang on. Just look, I'm a, I'm a licensed psychiatrist. That means I'm a certified MD. 
Oh, so you mean he's, uh... Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll make sure you're not taking advantage of. Call me at that number tomorrow and we'll sort this out. He doesn't speak for me. If I were you, I'd let him. Yeah, well, if I were you, I'd take a cab. I'm telling you, she was there. She was there. I saw her. So you jumped to the rescue because she looked like your whacked out wife, right? Squeeze it, squeeze it, just use the energy I'm sending you. That's right, good. Isn't there anything you can do? I mean, shouldn't you consider a cesarean? It's too late. The baby's already descended into the birth canal, and Alexis is fully dilated. Yeah, we're almost there. We're almost there. Just promise me. Anything, anything. If there's a choice, you save the baby. No. You promise Don't me. Don't say that. I promise, okay? I promise, but that's not gonna happen, okay? You are gonna give birth to a beautiful little girl. And you're gonna love that little girl for the rest of your life. But right now, right now, Alexis, you, you have a job to do, okay? You gotta keep breathing. That's right. That's right. Keep breathing. I, I, I'm too tired. I'm too tired. Alexis, you're a fighter. You're a fighter. You gotta use it. Okay? You gotta get. You gotta get mad. You gotta get mad at the circumstances. Get mad at, at everything that's happened along the way. I want you to just use that anger and gather right here in your center, and I want you to push as hard as you can, okay? Just push. Push. Push for yourself. Push for, for the baby. Push for Christina. AJ and I got in this huge fight after he left us. I, he practically accused me of getting off on being stalked. So, it, because he gave me an excuse to run to you. Like, stalking me was my idea. It was so unfair, and, and I got so angry that I just... I decided to come here and throw myself at you just to prove his point. God, it's just so wrong. I, after everything that AJ and I have been through, he still won't believe that I loved him. I mean, suddenly, everything is about you. I'm not saying that it is. Okay, I know better. You and I, I mean, we're not like that. Look, you, you and I both know what happened. Okay? You were getting stalked, you were scared, you were in danger, and look, I was happy to help you because you're Sonny's sister, and I like you, but that's, that's as far as it goes. I know, I know, it's in your nature to protect people, and you're great at it. I, Brenda was really smart to pick you. Well, that's all uh, changed. Yeah. Brenda doesn't need me anymore, so we're going to try to end the marriage as soon as possible. Why are you doing this, Sky? Because I'm the wrong party. I get to be mad and I get to fight back. No divorce. Well, you can't stop me from filing. No? Well, I can make it twice as painful and take twice as long. I can certainly try to make your life as miserable as you've made mine. Yeah, you know I am not going to let you put all this on me. Okay, we both made vows. I intended on keeping mine, but you made that impossible. There are lies and there are lies, Sky. Me not telling you about Brenda may have been misguided, but it was for your own protection. And you, on the other hand, you kept secret the fact that Brenda was going to live. Now, I'm sorry, but to me, that's unforgivable. You never loved me at all, did you, Jax? Everything was a lie, and that is the most malicious cut of all. You have torn my life apart. And I will not rest until I return the favor. Now hear this. You will not live some romantic, fairy tale, blissful life with Brenda. Not while I draw breath. I've been wanting to thank you for the plane ride home. Magnanimous gesture on your part. 
Why don't you kill me when you had a chance? Surprised you haven't figured that out. You being smart and no. all. Enlighten me. Because of Brenda. You say you know her? Holding her hostage four years gives you some special insight into the, into the workings of Brenda's mind? Well, that may work with some people, but not with me. What's your point? I know how Brenda thinks. If I'd killed you in cold blood, she wouldn't be able to get that image out of her head. She would have blamed herself, and eventually, she'd have forgotten what a low life you are, and your death would have eaten at her every day, little by little. I can't have that on my head. I'll let somebody else take you out. There are plenty of candidates. As a matter of fact, I, what I don't understand is, why do you stay in a city when the odds against your life are climbing by the minute? Well, I'll leave. But with what's mine. See, I mean to have Brenda back. And I don't intend to let her go. Stay away from her. Or what? You already gave me all the reasons why killing me isn't an option for you. Options change all the time. That's why they call them options. We're not on the deserted island anymore, you know what I mean? It's just you and me. We're standing right here on the, on, on the docks. People coming and going. Anybody can kill you at any second. How would that be Brenda's fault? As a matter of fact, you, you can just be clumsy, trip, right in the water. Save your threats, they bore me. Oh, you misunderstand me. These aren't threats. It's a heads up. CTV, Canadian Television. I've always been a hands-on kind of guy. Now I keep busy to stay healthy. But when I've neglected my diet, I've depended on the science of Centrum daily for complete vitamin and mineral support. Centrum helps make my day complete. Long-lasting Dristan nasal mist starts to work in seconds for relief of a stuffy nose. We asked Tim here to demonstrate, but it started to work so fast, he left. You're lost, Tim. We had donuts. Good ones. <laughs> You're here. Wow, your gums look good. And your teeth are so white. In addition to fighting cavities and getting proven protection between brushings, you can also get your teeth their absolute whitest. The tooth fairy in my chair. Colgate Total Plus Whitening. Who's helping me wash the dishes? Oh, I will. No, me. Enough. I'm washing the dishes tonight, and that's final. Palm Olive Spring Sensations makes washing dishes so enjoyable, everyone wants to do it. Palm Olive Tough on Grease, Soft on Hands. Ba la 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 la. That was great. Merry Christmas. Told the ancient Yuletide carol. Fa la 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 la. Really, really eye-catching fashions, so you can look your best this season. Find great holiday fashions at Sears and put a little Sears in your life. Lose something, like that first day shine of your hair color? And time for something new. Ta-da! New Shine Extending Superior Preference from L'Oreal. Now my glorious color that won't fade out has built-in shine magnifiers that won't dull out. Plus six weeks of deep conditioning. Browns stay richer, reds more radiant, blondes more brilliant. We all pass the shine magnifying test week after week. This is big news. New Superior Preference from L'Oreal Paris. Fade-resistant color that shines on and on. Because you're worth it. Janetta Sachuk. Get into the spirit of giving a little early this holiday season. The Good Samaritan Society is looking for compassionate and dedicated volunteers. Why not give the gift of your time? You can help make a difference for the elderly and disabled residents who live in the care centers. For information, just call 431-3838. Rage is up. Are we not allowed to ask why? Some stories are about the questions. I thought I was going to die. Did you know that? I have to look this woman in the eye. She has to trust me. Here we go. The story unfolds on the 11th hour, coming November 26th to CTV. 
Good afternoon. Coming up tonight at 6 on CFRN, we'll hear from the patient who received a groundbreaking operation at University Hospital that saved her from having diabetes. Our special assignment looks at extreme religion, a local preacher speaking out against it. Cities gearing up for Grey Cup, and the former Eskimo coach is arriving in town. He now coaches the Montreal Alouettes. He's going to try and steal our thunder. Those stories, and Ian Leonard looks ahead to the weather for the big game at 6. This was a CFRN News Update. CTV. Canadian Television. You have no say whether or not I'm with Brenda. That's the first thing you're wrong about. Secondly, I did love you, Sky. At least the woman I thought you were. The woman you could have been. If you could only have trusted me. <laughs> trusted? Who, oh, you? The man who married me and five minutes later went to bed with another woman? <laughs> For what it's worth, I'm sorry it turned out this way. But you did this. No, I didn't. You think that I've caused you all this pain? Well, I am really sorry. You know, Brenda, save it, okay? Save it for all the suckers who actually buy your little act. Because I know you for the lion slut that you are. You and Brenda are breaking up. Right? You just got married. I mean, it wasn't a real marriage. We didn't even like each other. I mean, she thought she had this disease that, that made you lose your mind. And she decided that I was the only one she could trust enough to do what was necessary when that time came, which meant put her in an institution. And uh, she also thinks that I'm the <laughs> only one cold enough and heartless enough to do it. Wait, you said that she, she thought that she had this disease? Yeah, the guy she was with for the last few years made her, made her think that. But it's over. And uh, I get to get Brenda out of my apartment now because she was making me crazy. God, this is, this is so weird. I mean, here, here you are, you, you can't wait to get a divorce, and the thought of it scares me to death. Divorce, it, it's like an, an admission that love isn't enough when it should be. I don't know, I mean, maybe we should, I don't know, try harder. What? Do you think it's easier to just walk away? No, I think you should do what feels right for you, not anybody else. Well, thank you for not calling me crazy. <sighs> Listen, um... I'm, I'm sorry about what my intentions were earlier. I, um, I wasn't offended. Good. <laughs> you might want to hit that button again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye. See ya. Yeah. Did you get all that, Carly? No, I, you, I didn't. You know what? You speak so softly, I couldn't hear. So what's the deal? You know what? You I gotta pack some now? of Brenda's stuff, and I need you to come because there are a few things that I don't want to touch. Okay? What, you want me to touch them? Yes. How do you propose to kill me? With your bare hands? Seems right. It's personal, isn't it? Yeah, you are. That sounds good. Go ahead, so I can do it. Come on. You know you want to. That way I'd be rid of both of you. One in the ground, one in prison. You, you, you know, very bad boy, Mr. Alcazar. Taking a lot of people off. 
What can I say? It's a gift. Yeah, well, if something was to happen to you, I wouldn't know where to start looking. Well, you can just act like you didn't see anything. Chalk it up as fake. Is, is, is that like a bribe? Yeah, whatever you want to call it. Well, what do you know? Lieutenant Taggart in a place where he actually might do some good. Oh. Now that we're all here, I'd like to file some uh, kidnapping charges against this man. Oh. On what grounds? Making Brenda believe that she had a fatal illness, trapping her into staying with him for four years. That might go under the heading of desperate. But unfortunately, it doesn't qualify as kidnapping. However, I do understand how you would hate this man enough to, to see him dead. I got a date tonight with the prettiest lady I've ever seen. And uh, I don't want my night to be ruined by being called in to investigate a homicide, especially yours, Mr. Alcazar. So I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to be a good guy tonight, and I'm going to personally escort you out of here. I seem surprised what I just said about Brenda. I guess someone must have told you. Yeah, I heard all the details. From Brenda, actually. Would it hurt to show some respect for your patient's wife? Why should I? He doesn't. I'm not his patient. Then why is he following you around? I'm a term paper. He's gonna fail. Well, not if you keep being so predictable. Luke is using his wife's mental state as an excuse for running amok, not that he needs much of an excuse, being somewhat primitive by nature. Even so, he has been socialized to some extent, most likely due to his relationship with this Laura, a woman he's idealized beyond all reason. His grip on reality is tenuous, hence the woman nobody else saw. People actually pay you to spout this incomprehensible babble. <laughs> I wouldn't expect you to understand. You're not exactly objective. Luke, stay put. I'm going to call Tony and see if he can take a look at you. So, uh, let's discuss this woman. And what's the point? She's a figment of my imagination. Yeah, I'll bet I can describe her. Laura's height, same color hair, probably wearing a color you associate with Laura. She was there. An unremarkable case of classic transference. I was hoping you'd be more original. Is conjuring up your lost wife the best you can do? Lou, Tony can see you right away. I have had enough of you for one day. So don't be here when I get back, or I'll show you a real demonstration of what it's like to be maladjusted. Make sure Tony checks for brain damage. That's good, that's good. Good, good girl, good. Scream if you want to. Here we go, almost. Here we go. Scream if you want to. Do it. Push. Push. Yeah. Do it. Carrie Dahl. Has religion gone too far? In a special assignment, CFRN's Dan Kobe looks into a charismatic culture. Meet a former preacher who now speaks out against it. I'm ashamed of what we used to do. Tonight on CFRN News. What are you guys doing? The game's not till Sunday. There's a lot to do. 
Join us live at the Bring Your Woolies Grey Cup kickoff event. CFRN News will be broadcasting live from City Hall November 20th. You guys are crazy. No, we're not. It's Grey Cup. In the Northwest Territories, draping... The keys to good weather forecasting. Exhibit a keen interest in weather. Upper level boundaries and props and high pressure systems. I mean a real keen interest. I got some amazing pictures of a mesocyclone. Oh, my wife tells everybody he's a weather geek. CFRN Weather Watch with meteorologist Ian Lenny. Thank Sir. you very much. <laughs> Any job this fun doing. It's a great way to make a living. Has got to be worth watching. We believe we can't let kids down when it takes so little to change so much. Wednesday, November 20th, come to McDonald's. One dollar from each Big Mac and breakfast bagel sold will be donated to McHappy Day to support Ronald McDonald's children's charities and other local children's charities. Your eyes are like the twinkling lights of the city. Jessica. Tell me more. Really? Let's see. Uh, each twinkling light uses about 1,200 kilowatt hours of electricity a year. We would times that by about a million. Plus all the street lights and buildings and your sparkling eyes are equivalent to about 1,500 gigawatt hours of power. Give or take a giga. What if everybody took energy as seriously as we do? Kiss me, you electrical fool. Space Station in IMAX, only at the Odyssey. Now enter for a chance to explore space at Kennedy Space Center. Visit the Odyssey in person or go to odyssey.com. Then watch CFRN News at 6 for the Space Station question of the day. Answer correctly and enter for a chance to qualify to win a trip for two to the Kennedy Space Center in Orlando. Walk beneath a moon rocket, see space shuttle launch pads, dine with an astronaut. Visit the Odyssey or go to odyssey.com. Then watch CFRN News at 6 this week for your chance to qualify to win. Where I come from, we have lots of snow. Are you going home for Christmas? No, not this year. Oh. Hey, what's everyone want for Christmas? Karen, package for you. Capture memories with family tree ornaments from Hallmark. This holiday season, win a Christmas to remember valued at $25,000. Enter where Hallmark products are sold. Watch Canada AM on January 7th to see if you're a winner. Design gifts, hand selected clothing, jewelry, and accessories. Edem Essentials, beyond the basic. Where did they take her? To NICU. She has to be evaluated by a neonatologist. Oh, but I didn't even get to hold her. She's gonna be okay. <laughs> Your baby is very early and she's very small, but both mother and child for the moment are holding her. Oh, please, she needs me and I need to see her. What you need right now is to stay in bed because you're not strong I enough. I swear to like I'll do whatever you say. Listen, you just let me Dr. see her, please. Listen to Dr. Meadows, okay? No. You did a wonderful job bringing this child into the world. Now you have to let you the don't hospital understand. take over. You don't understand. I need to see her, please. What you need to do is you need to rest, and I'm going to give you something to help you no. sleep. No. Just look at the people in this room. Do you trust me? Yes. Yeah. Do you trust the doctor? Yes. Yeah, I think you should do what she says. But okay. my baby. Baby, oh, no. please. Your baby will be fine. Your baby is going to be just fine. Please. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're going to sleep right now. You're going to sleep. You're going to sleep. And I'll be right here when you wake up. I'll be right here when you wake up. I'm worried about you, Luke. Oh, baby, I'm no crazier than ever. Actually, I was talking about your physical well-being. I saw that big bruise on your side. Oh. You should have seen the truck. Could you be serious for one minute? It's okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I mean, I've been hurt worse ice fishing with Lulu. How is she? She's, uh, confused. I'm lonely. 
and a little clingy right now. She, uh, she really loves that picture. She misses you, Luke. We all do. I know. Why don't you go and see her? And give her a big hug and remind yourself that you have a lot of wonderful reasons for living. Yeah. Instead of burning down public buildings and hurling yourself no. in front of trucks. Barbara, I, I can't. I can't do that. Why not? Well, because Lulu's a baby. She's just a little sweet pea that ought to be playing with imaginary friends in toe shoes. She doesn't need me coming around trying to play father, making bad decisions like I did with Laura. That is not true. And you know it. Barbara, it is true. Oh, just... Just promise me we'll have you back really soon. Where are you going? Ghost hunting. If you want to be technical, the first person to tell me about Brenda was your wife. Really? Yeah, I think she wanted, you know, me to hurry up and stake my claim on Brenda, you know, before you could. Well, if you knew Brenda at all, you know that no one claims her. Would you even take five seconds to be happy for Brenda? She has her life back now, you know. Well, you must be very happy being the first person to, uh, you know, give her the happy news. She must have been very thrilled, not to mention grateful. I'll see you. Yeah, I know, you're a recovering alcoholic. Where would you come up with personal information like that? Oh. Am I supposed to be flattered that I'm the subject of your pillow talk with well, my Jack's husband? Jack's told me that your sobriety means everything to you. It's really a shame to see you throwing it away. Don't you dare lecture me about my sobriety, you manipulative, lying, two-faced, man-stealing, illness-faking whore. I thought that I was sick. Because Louise and then you kept the truth from me. What a piece of trash. Oh. <laughs> you know, I'd really feel sorry for Jack's fight, any intention of you getting your claws into him. If you really want to throw your whole life away, Sky, and just give everything up, here you go, sweetie. Here you go. Drink up. Why don't you see if your brother got it yet? We all know where the rainbow goes. <laughs> yeah, he got it. Grazie. Wish I could share them with you. Aww. Tempting new selections, elegant new mm. look. Pot of gold chocolates. He looks pale. Share the gift that's wrapped in a rainbow. He must be so lonely. <laughs> Not too lonely. <laughs> for something different? Try the DQ chicken strip basket served with crispy fries and Texas toast. Then cool off with a creamy chocolate extreme blizzard treat. DQ something different. Enter a world of the supernatural. Studio line from L'Oreal creates Jello. It's first styling gel that turns liquid like water. Easy to apply. Controls and holds like a gel. Styling that lasts hour after hour. Studio Line Jello feels pure like water. It won't stick to your hands. Leaves hair feeling clean. No stiffness, no stickiness. New Jello from L'Oreal Studio Line. Hold like a gel. Feels natural like water because you're worth it.
better beans, better coffee. Nabob. You notice the sun rises and sunsets, the little things. It's not where you come from that's important. It's not what you own. He's one of my best friends. It's not your job. What they've done is unbelievable. There's nothing more important. They've given me my son back. Than the health of you and your family. Sometimes I'll look in the mirror. Canadian men. And I'll be like, damn, I'm good looking. Who want to be cover boys? I just walk in, got this big fat tattoo on my arm and this big nose. Do you have what it takes? What do you think we know? <laughs> to succeed in the cutthroat world of male modeling? I can be replaced in a second. Watch a small town Canadian boy. I have really bad posture. I don't walk very well. Transform into. It's just like in my eyes and killing me. A pretty boy. Don't miss Pretty Boys, Thursday at 9 on CTV. I might not be able to have Jax, but I'll sure as hell make sure you don't have him either. Well, there's really nothing you can do about that, is there? I can make your life a living hell. I can make everything take twice as long and be twice as painful. Just when you think that you and Jax are on the old footing, Dance into the same old rhythms. I will be there to pull the rug out from under you. Why if it's you? the last thing I do, I will make sure that you feel the same misery I feel tonight. Go ahead, sweetie. You give it your best shot. Because I faced death <laughs> a few times. And compared to that, you are nothing. Is anybody here? I need to find my baby. Your daughter, Christina, was born, and she is in neonatal ICU holding her own Alexis. I need to see her for myself, well, Ned, please. Please, won't you help me? Hey. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, well, I, I saw you with Jack, so I thought you might want to oh, be with him oh, now. so you thought you'd pack up all of my stuff for me out of the goodness of your heart? No, yeah, well, that would be me. No bother thanking me. Just go away. Don't come back. You look pretty today. Thank you. Uh, can, can I just tell you something? Sure. The women in this town are working my last nerve. Oh, you want your... Yeah, back. thanks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here. All right. So what do you want? What do you mean? Do you want, um, do you want a divorce or do you want an annulment? Oh, I don't care. Whatever's fastest. Here. Whatever's fastest? Yeah. Well, I can file papers. About tomorrow morning. Okay. Yeah. Um, you want alimony? Are you serious? Yeah, I got, you know, I got, I got the money. I don't use it. You can Look, have you, some. You, you, you married me when I asked you to. You were willing to drop everything. Take me away like you promised. You kept your word. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I still don't like you. That's good.
<laughs> Next, please. Oh, hi. At the end of a long day, I love to curl up with a good book and my favorite dip. Philadelphia dips. But I've only got two hands. Thank heavens for Albert. A little taste of heaven to dip. Our cover girl's all set to go. Said long wear versus Outlast? I don't think so. They say they last, but bite and block. Yeah. Outlast, great. Others, not. Outlast all day lip color. These are beautiful cover girl. Your winter forecast, heavy snow with a 100% chance of exhilaration. Zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. The award-winning Mazda Tribute, with available on-demand all-wheel drive. It's what makes winter cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I'll look in the mirror. Canadian man. And I'll be like, damn, I'm good looking. Who want to be cover boys? I just walk in, got this big fat tattoo on my arm and this big nose. Do you have what it takes? What do you think we know? <laughs> to succeed in the cutthroat world of male modeling? I can be replaced in a second. Watch a small town Canadian boy. I have really bad posture. I don't walk very well. Transform into. It's just like in my eyes and killing me. A pretty boy. Don't miss Pretty Boys, Thursday at 9 on CTV. Sunday on CTV. Based on a true story. Starring Paul Gross. Patrick Kelly, you are under arrest for the murder of your wife. I've remembered some things. I was in Pat's apartment the day Marie was killed. Murder, most likely. Sunday at 3 on CTV. You should see the footage. Don't forget, these are the people that invented Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Sometimes I think you make these appointments with me just to get information. You know, I went into this wanting to get at the truth. The story unfolds on the 11th hour, coming November 26th to CTV. Hello? Want a home <laughs> phone? Mother! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Things are fine. If your home phone has been disconnected for any reason, call... Get it a reconnect. Here, we'll turn your home phone back on without you paying the old phone bill off. It's that simple. There is no way to get turned down. All right, well, we'll, we'll talk to you soon. Okay. So if a home phone okay. is really what you need, come in out of the cold and call Canada Reconnect. It's warm in here. You emerge from the past. You enter in the present. But for one night of your life, your future is entirely in his hands. Portal. Starring David Copperfield. Live on stage, an incredible new show. December 6th through 8th at the Jubilee Auditorium. Presented by Aflac. Bobby, I'm glad you're here. How is she? She was having trouble breathing, 
So we had to put her on a ventilator. I want to see her. I'm not leaving until I do. Well, that's okay. That's all right. Come on in. Carly, better hope I didn't. Okay, why don't I just go and I'll just come back no, again Carly later. Carly packed my stuff and, you know, I swear if she touched it, you, you, you have no idea what is going to happen. Why don't we just yeah, replace it? All. It is not replaceable, Jack. Yeah, tell me what it is you're looking for so I can help you look. Did you find this mysterious piece? <laughs> well, let's see it. Jacks will take Brenda on a world cruise. Hey, eh? all I'm thinking about is Brenda's out of my apartment, and you should just think about you and Sonny. And yeah. that's. Hey. Hey. Where you been? Uh, just you know, business. I I, I gotta discuss it with with Jason. All right. Well, when you're through, I'll be upstairs. Okay. What's up? I had a, I had a run in with Alcazar. All right, what happened? That's not really what I want to talk to you about. Taggart showed up. He said if Alcazar turns up dead, I'm the number one suspect. What up? Look, there's other ways to get rid of Alcazar. Exactly, it's time to use them. Stay tuned for scenes from the next General Hospital. We believe we can't let kids down when it takes so little to change so much. Wednesday, November 20th, come to McDonald's. One dollar from each Big Mac and breakfast bagel sold will be donated to McHappy Day to support Ronald McDonald's children's charities and other local children's charities.
When you purchase Flurry, our Christmas bear, a donation will be made to Sears Young Futures. From Sears, your Christmas wish store. Rage is up. Are we not allowed to ask why? Some stories are about the questions. I thought I was going to die.